And first, our News 11 at 7, the city of St. Charles hosted a family-friendly Mardi Gras parade and after-party in historic Frenchtown. News 11's Laura Simon shows us the colorful floats, costumes, and the festivities. From the Lindenwood University marching band to the mayor throwing beads from a Corvette, people walking on stilts, bagpipes, and a bubble bus, everyone had their favorite moment from the St. Charles Second Mardi Gras Parade. The beads and the candy. Uh, the stilts. It's a beautiful day here in the Frenchtown district of St. Charles. You can see people lining Second Street dressed in their best purple, green, and gold. Even this puppy right here dressed in her finest attire today. This event is a Mardi Gras celebration for the entire family. A lot of our events seem to gear towards the family, which is awesome. I bought these at Soulard Mardi Gras a few years back, and they're just little leggings that go over top of your pants, and ordered this on the internet, and you ought to have beads. Oh, and this is my husband's hat. St. Charles native Cindy Larico came to cheer on her husband, who was riding with his motorcycle group. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. And then there's a party at the foundry afterwards. So it's, it's just like a make a day of it. And that's exactly what happened at the after party outside the Foundry Arts Center with plenty of vendors and live music from the Southside Creole Playboys. We go to New Orleans about every year and for St. Patty's, so we thought we'd come down here. But yeah, we've heard this band before. Reporting in St. Charles, Laura Simon, News 11.